Let's get right into it. Number 9. The Hiccup Force Quit You're in a job interview, and suddenly your body adds its own soundtrack. Your diaphragm is having a seizure party. You've tried holding your breath, drinking water upside down, even getting a friend to scare you, but your body has a built-in force quit button. The Valsalva Maneuver It's like pressing Control alt delete on your diaphragm. Hiccups are caused by your vagus nerve having a temper tantrum. Spam calling your diaphragm to contract. To block the call, take a deep breath, pinch your nose shut, close your mouth, and try to exhale without letting any air out. Just push. You're creating so much pressure in your chest that your vagus nerve gets a new, more urgent message. Your brain completely forgets about the hiccups because it's dealing with this new emergency. This move is so powerful doctors use it to fix fast-beating hearts and power lifters use it to protect their spines. Hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. When you let go, the hiccups should be gone. You've just manually rebooted part of your nervous system. Number 8. The Brain Freeze Off Switch You're halfway through a milkshake, and suddenly your forehead feels like it's been stabbed with an icicle. This is sphenopalatine ganglia neuralgia, or brain freeze. Your brain isn't actually freezing. The real drama queen is the roof of your mouth. When your palate gets hit with that cold blast, the blood vessels panic. This panic signal races to a nerve bundle behind your nose called the sphenopalatine ganglion, or SPG. The SPG overreacts and sends a massive pain signal to your brain. But your brain gets confused about where the pain is coming from, so it just decides your forehead is the problem. The moment brain freeze hits, press your tongue flat against the roof of your mouth hard. Your warm tongue is a tiny space heater for your palate. The blood vessels calm down, the SPG stops its meltdown, and the pain vanishes. You've just performed a medical procedure with your tongue. Doctors do something similar for chronic migraines, injecting anesthetic to block the SPG, but you just used your tongue like a budget neurologist. Number 7. The Gag Reflex Mute Button When the dentist's metal hook starts creeping toward the back of your throat, your body starts its dramatic gagging performance. But your hand has been hiding a secret off switch this whole time. Make a fist with your left hand, where your middle finger touches your palm. That's your body's panic button. Press it with your other thumb, and your throat calms down. Scientists tested this by having people wear a device that pressed on their palm while poking around in their mouths, and it worked. The theory is, your brain gets distracted by the pressure on your hand. It's too busy wondering what's happening down there to notice what's happening in your mouth. It's like when you stub your toe and bite your finger to forget the pain, except this actually makes sense. Number 6. Wake up a sleeping limb. You wake up at 3 a.m. and realize your arm is a useless meat noodle hanging off your shoulder. You try to move it and nothing happens, like trying to control it through a bad Wi-Fi connection. You panic and start slapping it around, then a thousand invisible fire ants start having a rave party inside your arm. Everyone thinks you cut off the blood flow, but that's not what's happening. You've just squished your nerve cables. Your nerves are electrical wires. And when you sleep weird, you put a kink in the cable. The medical term for this is temporary paresthesia. But the problem usually isn't even in your arm. It's in your neck. Your arm nerves run through your neck. And when you sleep like a pretzel, you're squishing them at the source. So instead of beating your arm, gently rock your head side to side. You're unkinking the cable at the router instead of jiggling the computer. The pins and needles feeling when it wakes up is your nerves rebooting. Your brain is getting a flood of scrambled signals, like a TV trying to find a channel. It interprets this chaos as that prickly sensation. This whole experience is your body's alarm system, screaming at you to move before you cause permanent damage. Number 5. Your secret cough button. Stick a Q-tip a little too deep in your ear, and you might suddenly feel like you swallowed a feather. You just discovered your body's most useless superpower. It's called Arnold's Nerve Cough Reflex, and about 20% of people have this weird feature. Deep in your ear canal, there's a tiny nerve called Arnold's Nerve. This nerve is connected to your vagus nerve, the interstate highway of your nervous system. When you poke your ear with a Q-tip, you hit Arnold's Nerve. It immediately tattles to your brain, but the brain gets the message wrong. It thinks the signal is coming from your throat, so it hits the cough button. It's like your ear prank calling your throat, and your throat falling for it every time. Your brain is like a security guard who hears an alarm and runs to the wrong building. This reflex is named after Friedrich Arnold, a German anatomist from the 1800s. Number 4. Your body's hidden dive mode. When you feel stressed, someone might tell you to splash cold water on your face. This actually works because your body has a secret dive mode. 
It's a real program called the mammalian diving reflex. The moment cold water hits your face, your body triggers ancient reflexes. First, your heart slams on the brakes. The cold water hits a nerve that screams at your brain, which then tells your heart to chill out. Your heart rate can drop by 25% almost instantly. Next, your body starts playing favorites with your organs. This is called peripheral vasoconstriction. Your circulatory system cuts off blood to your arms and legs, redirecting all that oxygen to your heart and brain. Your limbs become the middle child of your circulatory system. When you dive deep, the pressure should crush your lungs, but it doesn't. Your body floods your lung blood vessels with plasma. Since liquid can't be compressed, this fluid acts like nature's bubble wrap. Your lungs are wearing an internal water balloon suit. This reflex is strongest in babies, which explains videos of infants swimming underwater looking way too comfortable. Number 3. Walking unlocks your memory. You're sitting at your desk, trying desperately to remember where you left your keys. Nothing. Then you get up, and halfway to the kitchen, the answer hits you. This is your feet working as a secret Control-Alt-Delete button for your memory. Your brain is wired to work better when your feet are moving. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle had a school called the Peripatetic School, which literally means walking about. They would pace around having deep philosophical debates. When you sit still trying to force a memory, your brain gets stuck in a loop. But when you get up and start pacing, you pump more blood to your brain. It's like your brain was running on 2% battery and you just plugged in the charger. Walking also gives your conscious brain something else to focus on, like not tripping over the cat. This lets your subconscious brain sneak around and find the memory you were looking for. Our ancestors spent thousands of years thinking on their feet. Their brains weren't designed to solve problems while sitting in an office chair. This is why creative geniuses were obsessive walkers. Steve Jobs was famous for his walking meetings. Charles Darwin had a gravel path in his backyard for thinking walks. The harder the problem, the more laps he'd take. The theory of evolution was a multi-lap problem. So when you're trying to remember something, get up and walk around. You're activating your body's prehistoric Google search function. Number 2. Your built-in air conditioner. You're lying in bed on a hot summer night, sweating like you're being interrogated. No AC, just you in the heat having a staring contest. But your body has a secret cooling system that nobody talks about. Your wrists and ankles are your body's emergency vents. These spots have special blood vessels called arteriovenous anastomoses. They're like bypass roads for your blood. When you run cold water over your wrists, these vessels open wide. Your hot blood rushes through them like cars escaping traffic. The cold water cools your blood directly, and that cooled blood travels back to your core. It's like installing a radiator on your arm. Your body has other cooling spots too, behind your knees, your temples, and your neck. But your wrists are the easiest to reach when you're desperate. Athletes use this trick all the time, dunking their hands in ice buckets between games. You've been carrying around portable AC units this whole time and never knew it. Number 1. Your eyes' secret headache switch. You've got a headache building behind your eyes, and it feels like someone's tightening a vice on your skull. Before you reach for the painkillers, your eyebrows are hiding a pressure point. Find the spot where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose. There's a little indent there, like nature installed a button. This is the Zanju pressure point and it's been used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. When you press here for 30 seconds, you're hitting a nerve junction. The supraorbital nerve runs right through this spot. It's the same nerve that's often causing your headache in the first place. By pressing it, you're essentially hitting the reset button on that nerve. Apply firm pressure with your thumbs, pressing slightly upward. You might feel a dull ache that radiates across your forehead. That's the nerve responding to the pressure. After 30 seconds, Release and you'll feel a wave of relief. The tension literally melts away as the nerve calms down. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.